so this lot was my idea. I thought I would get this amazing lot with this incredible view, my big dream, and just dump it on Heather and have her build it. When Terry decided we were building this house, I think my first thought was, okay, if I have to build another house, this time we do it my way. Terry is very good at picturing tissue and skin, but brick and mortar, not at all. When we built our last house, uh, we had a builder that, you know, just liked an open checkbook. Like, hey guys, I need a check for a gazillion dollars tomorrow. We were like, where are the bids? And he was like, you don't need bids. This is a good price. Well, that really didn't sit well with us and we needed to find a new builder emergently. In walks Robert St. John. It's like the gates opened and the music played and he is the greatest guy. So amazing, honest, creative, talented. Love him like the brother I never wanted. I'm Robert St. John. I'm the owner of Rodeo Homes Incorporated. That was the builder of this project. Uh, my name is Jim. I'm the project manager uh, on the construction, for the construction of uh, the Debra House. I was involved on a daily basis. Uh, this project, uh, the Debros asked that I be involved with the design part of it. I had developed uh, several homes here in the Crystal Cove uh, neighborhood and they felt that those homes were the, the liking. They liked those projects uh, and how they turned out and they wanted me to be a part of putting this together for them. My involvement of this project was 100%. I was involved from ground up, was on site every single day. All the building I was involved in, all the designing. I am not the designer, but I was just involved in, in making Heather's uh, ideas come to fruition. And uh, it was quite the challenge. Well, hi, come on in. The entryway. Why is an entryway important? Well, basically, it's like meeting someone for the first time. It's your first impression of someone's home. It's almost like unwrapping a present and seeing what's inside. So when you open the door of someone's home, what's the first thing you see? Well, I have this incredible table with fresh flowers. I absolutely love this red arrangement right now, but every week my florist, White Lilac, brings me something new, something incredible, something with different levels and different colors, and it's always stunning. This also happens to be the absolute best spot in the house to take a picture, because not only do you have this gorgeous background, but the light is so good here. As you all know, I have four kids and they don't really like taking pictures. So I have short attention span theater. I get one photo per event, Mother's Day, holidays, whatever it is, I get one photo. So I always make the kids line up right here. I open the doors, get this gorgeous natural light going and Because the scale of the house is large and the ceilings are very high in this house, I couldn't buy a lot of pre-made things. I had to have a lot of things custom made. So these sconces, I drew on a piece of paper and they made them for me and you'll see them throughout the house. One of the most incredible features of the entryway is this enormous chandelier that leads your eye up to the ceiling, which in my opinion is truly the star of the entryway. Heather came up with the idea in the entry that she wanted to have floating slabs of onyx uh, that were backlit, which we were able to accomplish that. Uh, that was very challenging. You know, that starts with engineering, uh, a design part of it, which I came up with, uh, did some drawings on it, and had to figure out how to suspend 300 pound slabs of onyx in the ceiling 28 feet up. And those were a little challenging to pull off, but it's absolutely spectacular when it was all done. Fun fact about that stone is that it came into this country on the largest container ever to come to the United States. So it took a long time to unpack the container. We were waiting a long time for that. Oh, I wanna show you this. So Terry loves photography as art, and so do I. And we were together in Vegas and went into the Peter Lick 
photography studio and were blown away by this five panel piece. It has a lot of trees in it, which I told you is a theme in this house. And I love the red, I love the pop of color. I just think it's beautiful. Lighting is very important to a house. That was Terry's job. Terry wasn't involved at all. I don't know. <laughs> not at all. No, <laughs> definitely not. Terry was, I would say, MIA. I don't know. I don't think Robert knows. I think the only one who knows is probably Heather. I, I don't think he did anything. <laughs> I think I think he did a portion of paying for it, but... <laughs> when it came to the design and construction of this house, I was instrumental in absolutely nothing. My big job in this house was to take care of the lighting and the sound. And I kind of blew it on both. And when the house was done, we had to completely redo both of those. He didn't do that great a job, to be honest with you. And so we had to go back and readjust certain areas of light. For example, Terry loves floor lights, but he didn't mention that to our lighting people, so we didn't have them. But thankfully, we were able to go back in later and add some. I just think this is a very interesting, cool way to light up the art. Oh, oh, you guys are gonna love this, come here. Do you remember the story about the etched window? Terry absolutely hated the idea. I loved the idea and we got into a huge fight over it. Well, I kind of won this one because we have the etched window and I really want you to see it because it turned out so spectacularly awesome. And by the way, he loves it. Behold the etched window. Not only is it gorgeous, but it actually has very significant items hidden into the whole thing. Watch. First of all, there's four birds, one for each child. So here's a bird. Here's bird number two. And here's bird three and four. Then you can see here, there's a nest with two eggs in it. Those are to represent my frozen embryos. And no, Andy, you cannot have them. They are mine and they are frozen toxicals. For my beloved grandma, whose name was B. There's a little B. And then finally, etched into the tree is a heart that says T and H. What's also incredible is that when the light comes in this window, it casts a shadow on the floor. So it's almost like having two pieces of art, one on the wall and one on the floor. I can't wait for you to see next week. I don't want you to miss any room in the house, so make sure you become a subscriber right now.